One woman who asked for a little too much was Ling Valentine. Ling entered the den back in 2007, looking for investment in her car leasing website. Hello, I'm Ling, my famous Chinese nuclear missile truck, my trademark. I'm looking for an investment of 50,000 pounds for a 5% share of my company. Ling is just one of those firecrackers. I mean, she just came in and grabbed our attention. I've made over 100,000 pounds gross profits in each of the last two years. Your money would double each year. By the year 2010, it would be worth 400,000 pounds. My business motto is money, 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 money. <laughs> After her pitch, Peter Jones led the questioning about Ling's unique marketing strategy. Ling? Yeah? What on earth is with the advertising on the nuclear truck? With nuclear missile truck, nobody else got such a thing. And uh, I, used to, I used to put it next to A1 and it attracts uh, loads of publicity. Fantastic really? idea. Yeah. I'm just a genius with marketing. Um, I have all these crazy ideas about how to market my business and it works. You set this up two years ago? No, I set it up about uh, five years ago. I think the most memorable thing was when she said she spoke perfect Chinglish. I've been in this country for eight years. I came with nothing apart from perfect Chinglish. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> In spite of the light-hearted mood, some of the dragons had serious doubts about Ling's business acumen. What did your accounts show um, for 205? I just, uh, I just know roughly the, the figure. The thing is because I, I don't do the book. You come here asking for money, you tell me you don't do the book. How do you expect me to give you money if you can't tell me what you're making? I don't do my book. That's why I pay accountant to do. I trust my accountant. My accountants do all the book. That's it. Your lack of business now is, is terrifying. And that's my problem. Fine. So I can't. I'm out. Two other dragons dropped out in quick succession. But former dragon Richard Farley and Duncan Bannatyne saw something in the zany entrepreneur. I, I would like to offer you half the money but for 20 percent so i'm going to match richard's offer and i'm going to offer you 25,000 pounds for 20 percent of the company well, i think it's a bit too much I, I really refuse that you're turning us down yeah well chinese eat dragons for breakfast uh. <laughs> <laughs> i would say five percent each ten percent in total you know the best i could offer you would be 25,000 pounds for 15 percent of the company now, if Richard matched that, that would be £50,000 for 30% of the company. Ling, I would say I would match that. It's very rare that the Dragons renegotiate to meet the demands of an entrepreneur, but somehow Ling had pulled it off. I think to go on Dragon's Den and not be flexible about the equity state is a very silly mistake. I certainly would have been happy with the second offer that she got. But Ling's hunger for a larger piece of the pie was just too strong. Thank you. I, I refuse it. Ling, think about it. It's a fantastic... It's, a great offer. It, it's an unbelievable offer. Take their money. Thank you for your money. Uh, I refuse it. Thank you. To the dragon's disbelief, Ling walked away from the deal. Just completely bizarre. The biggest mistake ever turning down my investment. I'm not a greedy at all. End of the day, I'm still a businesswoman. I'm not prepared to give my company away very cheaply. So I would just only accept what I think is fair. Four years on, and Ling has gone from strength to strength. She's won several awards, and her unique persona has attracted offers to give inspirational business seminars. There are so many um, car leasing companies around. We have to make it make us stand out. B 
Before Dragonstone, I was turning over about 10 million pounds worth cat a year. Nowadays, I'm doing 40 million pounds worth cat every year now. I'm making more money, I'm very happy. Please put your hands together and say a big thank you. Leasing a reported £40 million worth of vehicles sounds like a business opportunity any Dragon would want to be involved with. And today, Ling is keen to show Duncan Bannatyne what he's missed, as well as show off her latest marketing ploy. I think Ling's business has been building up since the sun of then, but I still don't think she's making a lot of money. I think she still hasn't grasped the fact that turnover is vanity, profit is sanity. It's profit to pay your mortgage, it's profit that you live on, it's profit to build up your pension, not turnover. Oh, I think this is probably Lynn now, in her yellow submarine or yellow tank or whatever it is. I think we'll stand back. Hey, Valentine! How are you? Over here. Good day. Hello, my Ling. Pet. How are you? Yeah, good. Yes. What is this? Well, my new pet. Little new pet? Yeah. See nice what's to see you. Nice to see you again. Yeah, but... You miss the good fun, you know. If you invest in my business, you can have a tank too. Oh, you if I invest in your business, I could have one of these. Yeah, yeah. that would be nice, yeah. It's good. Good. <laughs> Thank you. I'd love to show you how well I've done in the last few years. Come to my office. Do you want to write? Um, no, I think actually I'll come by car and I think I'll follow. I'll get my driver and follow you. <laughs> Great, okay. See you in my office. Have a nice trip. <laughs> Five years ago, Ling was running her business out of her dining room at home. Today, she's keen to show Duncan her new branded premises in Gateshead. So this is my office. This is my famous, famous missile launcher. launcher. Yes, I remember this. I knew this before I knew you because I'd seen this on the motorway. There we go. Ling currently employs 10 people and has made sure her staff can never forget who's the boss. Duncan, this is my office. What's this? Oh, my money. Is this for me? 50 grand. <laughs> as well as flaunting her 50k in cash, Ling also wants to show off her website that she claims has over a million unique visitors a year resulting in 100 leasing deals a month. I decided to design a crazy website to attract all the attention, make the website stand out. I have over 20,000 cars listed on my website. And what do you make out of a car? Well, we average making from three to four hundred pounds per car. Wow, that's good. The Dragon's biggest criticism of Ling was her lack of financial knowledge, so she's had some figures prepared to prove that Duncan would have made money out of a 15% investment in her business. But he immediately spots an error in the calculations. These are flawed because they show a Dragon taking 15% of profit every year, which he wouldn't do, okay, unless you took 85% uh, and that, you couldn't afford to do that. So these are flawed. You can't add up the 15% and say that's what would happen. Right, how many? These are the figures. My accountant gave it to me. I'm not interested in reading the accounts all the time. I'm not a professional, but no, no, I no, have... No, Ling, what I'm saying is, these accounts assume an investor would take 15% of profit out of the company every year. An investor would not take 15% of profit every year. Well, that's not how you do investments. Right. So how does that work then? How much do you normally... If you invest the business, how much do you take out of the business? Well, we're normally taking dividends, and so we take 15% of the dividend that's paid. So if you don't right. take dividend, we don't take dividend. If you take 100,000, okay. then we take 15,000. But the company okay. can't afford to pay 100,000 pound dividends, so we don't take any dividends out. And you let the company build up. It does make sense. Most investors wouldn't take 15% of the company's profits until the business had built up enough equity to be in a position to pay out. 
And in spite of her high leasing figures, Ling's actual profit is showing at around £30,000. So Duncan has some more bad news for her. In my opinion, this would have been a bad, bad investment. If we'd put £50,000 in for 30% of a company, making £30,000 per year now, that would have been right. a bad investment. Okay. I wouldn't even have that investment. Okay. Well, I didn't want you to invest in my company anyway. Well, we're both happy then. Yeah, very happy. Because you didn't want the investment, and I'm glad yeah. I didn't make it. Yeah, exactly. We're happy. <laughs> I think there's no doubt that the Link Cars would be making a lot more money if you'd taken the investment. Because we would have disciplined the accounts, we would have analysed the accounts, we would have seen where we could make improvements. And I'm proud to walked away, refused their offer, and I made a success. I saved the company for myself. I'm great, eh? <laughs> I don't think you can underestimate the benefit you have from having a good investor on board. And I think, you know, I think there's a lesson learned here. You know, don't be greedy, you know, take a decent investment, and I think the investment will work.